So how do you obtain a lien release for a vehicle title? A vehicle title has three important elements on it. It has the name of the owner, it has the state that it's issued from, it also has a reference to any lien on the title. If there is a lien showing on the title, it will block the DMV from issuing any replacement. Even if the loan is paid, it could still be in the system. Well, how does that work? Well, first, identify the name of the lender or the lien holder on that title, if it's XYZ Bank or whoever it is. That's all the DMV cares about. If that loan has been sold or somebody else has been making payments, the only thing they care about is who's listed on the title. So you have to identify that first. If you're the owner of the car, you can simply go to the DMV and they'll tell you. If you're not the owner of the car, you might have to go through some other process to find out the name of the lender. This has to be clear. Just because the loan is paid to zero at the bank, the bank might not have notified the DMV. It still could be sitting there determine the contact information for that lender. They may be moved from the address that's showing on the title. They may have a different location. They may have a different phone number. If that lender has closed or gone out of business or gone through some type of corporate restructuring, you may have to find who's responsible now for the assets of that lender. A lender typically doesn't just close down. They typically sell their assets to some other lender who is now responsible for issuing documents on behalf of the original entity. There may be a lien release needed. There may be a letter of non-interest needed. If the lender truly has gone bankrupt, there will be a bankruptcy trustee who's listed to issue lien release letters. If it's a buy here, pay here lot or like a local dealership where you pay payments at the dealership and they're closed, Go to the dealer who's at those premises now. In many cases, the dealer who's there now is simply a different formation of that company. It might have the same principles and they could issue you a lien release letter. Worst case scenario, if you can't get the bank to look up that loan and they can't find anything, if they issue you a letter of non-interest, that means the same thing. It means they have no claim against the car. You bring that to DMV and you'll be just as good. If there is no way to get a hold of any lender and you can't find anything out, you may have to go through a court process to uh, remove that lien and clear it from the title. Almost every state has a process where if you go to the local superior court or probate court, you can apply for an affidavit to clear a lien from a title. Once you have that judgment in your hand, you bring it to DMV, it's as good as a lien release. So getting a lien release on a vehicle uh, is an important step if it's still listed in the records, even if the account is paid to zero.